Creed 3 non-spoiler review. Here we go. Alright. Uh, the music is good. I feel like the music is always good in the Creed movies. Um, the acting is good. It's, it's not out of the realm to, to act um, upset or punched. <laughs> Man, I just got punched. Oh, now I'm upset. <laughs> Jonathan Majors playing the bad guy. Great, great, great stuff for him to chew up that scenery because he is a very good actor. But um, the story is loose. Not good lighting. The story is super loose. Uh, I contend that uh, they got some good inklings they have some amazing action the boxing sequences are beautiful but the story itself is loose a little a little uh it could it could use tightened up it probably could have cut out about 15 minutes of that movie but i would hope they would have reallocated that time somewhere else because one of the things that was missing from this movie was gravity it was missing a bit of gravity i I didn't feel the stakes. I don't know if I'm not. I mean, I didn't. I didn't necessarily feel that that connection between the the protagonist and the antagonist. You know, um, I remember feeling a lot more uh, uh, difficulty in in uh, Adonis's overall existence in relation to. Um, there we go. Uh, Drago, like they even cameoed some some characters that we know from the previous movies, but I feel like they just cameoed it so that they could say that they were in the movie. Maybe it was a contract thing. These people signed up for multiple contract deals, and they said, "Here, we can use you here, but we're not going to use you this way." I don't know. But I can't get into too many spoilers. Stuff happens. I'm missing some of the gravity of the situation. I understand how serious it's supposed to be, but it doesn't come across entirely that way to me. Um, overall, I'd probably give this like a, a six. Six out of ten. Five and a half to six, somewhere in there. Um, I'd love to go back and re-watch some of the other Creed movies just to get a gauge as far as what I'm comparing it to, but for the most part, I feel the comparison through Rocky, or the Creed franchise as an extension of the Rocky franchise, and I just remember there being more weight, a, a, a higher purpose for the winning, the underdog, you know, um, they use the underdog byline in this, but it seems a little bit contrived, because we're talking about an underdog from an era that has, you know, been lost, so to speak. I don't know. I, uh, I think I should stop before I get into spoilers. Um, it's, it's, it's a good movie. I don't think that it necessarily needs, um, any more storytelling about Creed anymore. I do think that this is as good of a chapter to close it in. It doesn't feel like a good chapter to close it in on, but it's as good as any because now we've taken the character and retired him and brought him back, and now we're going to, what, retire him again? Or is he going to keep fighting? I don't know. I can't talk. That's too much spoilery stuff. So, the movie is fine. I think it could have been a little better. The action sequences... <laughs> are great bless me the uh, the boxing in the ring are great this was a good feature film for michael b jordan to cut his teeth on and direct the crap out of because he's going to keep directing and he's a very uh uh well-rounded individual that seems to have a grasp on a lot of different ways of entertainment so go check out the movie don't go check out the movie Maybe watch it eventually, at a minimum, right? But, uh, 
Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, follow for more movie stuff, typically, because that's pretty much all that's on this channel. Anyways, to the spoiler talk next. Till next time, adios!